I can hear them back scatter a little bit, but not real strong. They're waving their hand right back at you, but you got to do it in between keys, Severy. It's rough and tough out here. Mother Nature changed it up a little bit. Let me get my knees up in the breeze. Motor Muff Mall, your west coast. Undermodulated beast. Got down. Appreciate the wave. I did hear the. I appreciate the wave from the station out there saying hello to Motor Mouth. I heard uh, Buzzard talking to 278 and Blue Star and some of the others down south. Motor Mouth Mall stepping right here right now. You know, right, Blue Star, no doubt about it. You working it, man. You worked that ground playing out of that mess. It was a mess in my radio, man. It sure was. Blue Star, you walk right on out with that ground playing, so I'm going to have to give it to you, rascal. When you made it in, I got to tell you, I heard you know that about it. Good evening, get out of Blue Star. Ain't nobody but your northwest corner mud duck, your buzzard around Oregon, and I'm to the left. I saw that picture, by the way, Buzzard. Hey, Buzzard, I saw that picture of the northwest corner mud duck to break. I'm still pointed east. Hold on a second. And that's my ride. And you know I gotta put my burners on your rascal. And that's my ride. My ride is vain. <laughs> you know, somebody calling me free, some other cat may try to tell me what my best sugar buzzer sound like, and you keyed up on him. I'm glad you hit him in the back of the head with all your fists. Come on, that black hole jack back. <laughs> yeah, boy, I don't want to know who said it, man, but I know uh, you said it. I heard it come out of your mouth. <laughs> it wasn't me. I don't care who said it. I know who said it. I heard it come out of your mouth. You all, you all call him Buzzard a seagull. Take care of rice and beans. Tell the seagull I said hello. Slam dunk is quiet. We heard you in there, 420. We heard you in there, 505, standing by. some beans. I said hello. I just spun the antenna back up north. Now I didn't. I forgot I was looking east. I forgot I was looking the wrong direction. I tell uh, Rice and Beans I said hello. I tell Blue Star I said hello too. Motormouth Mall, your west coast, under modulated beast. Walked on through. Rice and Beans, slam duck up here in the corner. Goddamn. I'm here with the heavy waves, but I am not worthy. Five, six mobile. Is that who that was saying that they're not worthy? <laughs> Let me see. I ain't worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm out here with the heavy weights and cannot get out. That's what I thought I heard. Anyway, I think I was five, six in a mobile there somewhere breaking. Motor mouth mall stepping. Oh, no, Motor mouth. That was Dirty John in here uh, in Salem, Oregon. Your number one admirer. 
Hmm, Roger D. All right, good deal. Well, you're smoking up here. Good sound of mobile. Check it out. Motor mouth, mall seven. Oh, no, motor mouth. That was Sir John in here uh, in Salem, Oregon. Your number one admirer. Salem, Oregon. Holy smokes. Motor mouth, mall waving and step of every. Yeah, and somebody's uh, duplicating, uh, uh, gating me and uh, playing my me twice for you, motor. You better quit dissing that thing. It might blow up. You got a water gate going. This ain't gonna blow up. No, my left came in and said, tick, 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 tick. And I told him, you better quit testing that thing before it blew up. Yeah, sometimes they were, tick, 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 boom! <laughs> Big ol', and the next thing you know, they got the doggone plate-blocking capacitor punched a hole through the side of the cab that they're bringing. Yeah, they're squealing and shit. That's why I tell them, don't be messing with it, it'll blow up, leave it alone. I can hear the tick, 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 real good, don't mess with it, leave it alone. I might just have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes... Ah, uh, you know, you can never just leave it alone, well, left it alone, you know, if you should just leave it alone, if it's working, it's working, you know, it does what it does, it does what it does. And sometimes, you know, people don't get out because Mother Nature got another way of thinking. At what, at what point then you got to say, hey, it is what it is, if it's working right, it's working right. But if it ain't talking, and if Mother Nature got another plan, it's best to keep from pushing the debris, because they're going to blow up debris. That's what I told him. That's why I told him that. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to put it to somebody. You know it's going to work? I'm going to stand right to this side. You know. No condition. All right. It sounds good. <laughs> yeah. I'll get out of the side, too, here. I know that uh, we don't want to plug up anybody's ears out there uh, unduly. <laughs> Buzzer, have a good day. Motor mouth, ball waving, and step when I got down. Hello, Motor Mouth. Yeah, me, I'm not the 35 miles from it. Kick, two pill, mobile. Hey, buzzard. Two pill, mobile, wow. Out here. Sitting on the border. Hey, Motor Mouth, sitting on the border. In this two pill, mobile, going across the Lewis and Clark Bridge, cruising. Oh, I've been there. I've been across that bridge before, ain't no doubt about that. You sound good going across the Lewis and Clark Bridge, ain't no doubt about that. With a two pill, two pill mobile. Right on, Motor Mouth Mall. Just about to be right on the border right now. Motor Mouth on the border right now. Washington and Oregon, sidekick, two pill mobile, Lewis and Clark Bridge. Ten four, and you sound good in that two pill mobile. Hey, check this out while you're on the border. Check it out. Right on, Motor Mouth Mall. Just about to be right on the border right now. Motor Mouth on the border right now. Washington and Oregon, sidekick, two pill mobile, Lewis and Clark Bridge. And there you go, right there, sidekick, Motor Mouth Mall with that instant replay. Right on, thanks for that Motor Mouth. How about that Motor Mouth? Bye bye. Ten bye 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 bye. We heard that 88 Mojave, California. Two four one two four one up here in the Washington State. We're waving. Hey two four one, tell 88 the Motor Mouth Mall said hello, and I got back on the side breaker breaker. Roger that, Motor Mountain Mall. We appreciate the wave. 241, 241, Washington State up here in the Evergreens. And we're back out. But 241, you didn't tell 88 that I said hello. Hey, 241, you did not tell 88, or oh, Rick out there, that I said hello, Bray. 505 Northwest Corner with the wave. Motor Mountain Mall, he's waving a hand. This 241 up here in the Washington State. Back out. Appreciate that five there, ain't no doubt about it. Hello, 505, I heard you up there too again. Oh, we're just up here trying to get out there, Motor Mouth. A little weaky station up here, a little Moonraker 4. Soon to be putting up a new beam and a new amp. Can't wait. Oh, that's going to be interesting. And, um... Uh, yeah, new beam and a new amplifier coming up here. Very cool. Well, we'll be looking forward to listening to that. Where was, uh... 
think it was. And this is crazy. Delete this. Start here. Yeah, Roger. What? Keep. I want to keep it on over there. Five oh five. Motormouth Mall. Got down. <laughs> Thanks for the flowers, Motormouth. Yeah, we're gonna put up a Joe Gun Super Audio 8. And then I got a 3CX 3000 box of it in here. Hopefully, should do it. Yeah, I should get the, done, uh, the job done for you. Ain't no doubt about that. That uh, That's a good combination, I think. You'll be happy with that one, they're <laughs> One five one. I just went to the CB store and I picked up a Roger beep. It was free, and I had it installed in about five seconds over the air. A uh, one fifty one. Hello to your motor mouth mall. Got down. <laughs> right on one free is a very good price, no doubt. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Hey, motor mouth forty five kilo. Stay waving. Hey, waving right back there. Forty one kilo. Motor mouth mall waving and. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> uh, kind of funny. Anyway, you both sounded good out there. All three of you out there sounded good. Motor up, mall stepping. No doubt, Bum. Appreciate the wave, no doubt about it. 151, 151 up here around these evergreens, and we're standing by. Roger, they're 151. You keep on with the keep it over, uh, keep on with the keep it on out there on the evergreens. Motor mouth mall with this ever hammering mall. Got down, breaker, breaker. I heard somebody have to say motor mouth ball, motor mouth ball, but they weren't moving my S meter, they weren't even really making it in my radio, but I heard this. Check this out. I don't think you can hear that. You're right, barely in the noise level to break. You are in the noise level. 148. Well, that's because he's noisy. It's a noisy level because he be so noisy. Okay, Josie. Super smooth. I'm reading this mail or nothing. Yeah, what a butter. The real Tijuana butter. You know who it is. All electric and a shovel A reading the mail. Dang. Hey, uh, was that rice and beans down there in the Tijuana border? Roll open the back of this antenna? Hello, Mr. O'Shea, in the Mojave Desert, Mr. Yellow Jacket's mobile, right back. Come on down. Bro. Oh, that's Mr. Yellow Jacket right there. Mr. Yellow Jacket out there in a the big, bad mobile. Holy smokes. Double D in the mobile. Double D in the mobile. Northwest corner around the cell. Here, right on, 88. You're right on 88 in the Mojave Desert. No pain, no strain. Kind of big. You sounded good coming around the northwest corner. Hello, 88. 88 in the Mojave Desert. Double D in the Wiki. I heard Double D out there. I heard Yellow Jacket out there talking to 88 in the Mojave Desert. Mother Nature dipping and dabbing and flipping and flopping and bucking and weaving and shucking and jiving. I got down. Copper top. Hey, Copper top. 45 kilo. Did you say Mother Nature is taking a dab? Mother Nature dipping and dabbing. I don't know what she's dipping in or dabbing in, but she's dipping and dabbing and flipping and flopping and bucket weaving and shucking and jiving their brain. <laughs> Mobile up in here like this right here. Check this out. Mall, mall, yellow jacket. Don't worry about Mother Nature. Just worry about here in this mobile. Hello, motor mall, mall, yellow jacket. Still in. There you go, yellow jacket. Hey, yellow jacket. Well, you got that mobile all up in here. I guarantee you, you, it's easy to hear when you got it all up in here. Breaker, breaker. Down and put the hellos and the howdy doodies up on you. That's the kind of big show. 
Hello, Motor Mall Mall. Be good, be kind, and most of all, be careful. Motor Mall Mall, Yellow Jackets Mobile in the corner, getting on down. Work at the Yellow Jacket, absolutely. Likewise, you too. And uh, drive surf uh, carefully while you got that mobile, man. That, uh, that thing's doing a job for you, by the way. You got a hammer and a half coming out here. You say I'm putting some big numbers up there around your neck of the woods, but you got to listen to this. Oh, right on, right on. Motor Mouth Mall, no pain, no strain. Kind of deal. Hey, Motor Mouth Mall, you bumping some big numbers up here in the corner, man. Yeah, no choice but to bump this move your down and put the L.O.s and the Howdy Doodies up on you. That's a kind of big show. Hello, Motor Mouth Mall. Be good, be kind, and most of all, be careful. Motor Mouth Mall, Yellow Jackets Mobile in the corner, getting on down. Man, what a big old hammer. A Yellow Jacket you can take care of. Mobile safe. Mobile safe with the uh, the big old RF generator you got towing behind you. <laughs> Yellow Jacket, Motor Mouth Mall, stepping out. See you. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, Motor Mouth Mall. Motor the biggest mall on the west side. The Motor Mouth Yellow Jacket Mobile is gone. Bye bye. Hey, Motor Mouth Mall, tell Yellow Jacket, Brother Center Friendly Five. Hey, Motor Mouth Mall, tell Yellow Jacket that his little brother Brother down around Portland did when he was Friendly Five. Motor Mouth Mall, I'm to the left. Well, let me do it this way. Hey, uh, hey, let me let you tell him yourself. Hey, Buzzard, I'll let you do it this way, right here, right? Now, hey, Motor Mouth Mall, tell Yellow Jacket, Brother Center Friendly Five. Hey, Motor Mouth Mall, tell Yellow Jacket that his little brother Brother down around Around pool of deeds, we were friendly five. Motor Mouth Mall, I'm to the left. And I rolled your five and kept it all the way alive. <laughs> hey, uh, Yellow Jacket, did you get that five from Buzzard? <laughs> south of the border bleed over or something like that on the back of the beam here. Eight two six, appreciate the flowers out there. I kinda heard you up in there, but it's rough and tough. I think that was eight two six. Yeah, uh, eight two six, I believe. They're breaking. Yellow jacket mobile up in the corner. Hello, Wolf Man, Wolf Man, Wolf Man, Wolf Man. Hey, California Wolf, you doing your thing, man? Motor my mall, and he was talking to somebody, and I was kind of standing by. I heard you call me. I got to go though. Hey, California Wolf, your buzz it around Oregon, man. I heard you call me, man. But that duck sucker motor my mall, he was. Uh, good, mo good afternoon to you, Wolf. Your buzz it around Oregon. And I'm to the left. Hello. Hey, uh, Buzzer, tell Wolf I said hello, and I did pass your five, but I never got it back. Hello, Tia. One more time, Buzzer, motor mouth ball stepping I got down. Isn't that a riot, Wolf? Isn't that a riot, motor mouth ball? All right, Dan, I got to go, man. I got to go pick up the granddaughter. I'll be gone, no doubt about it. Wolf? Motor Mouth Mall, your buzzer to the left. Four ten, take care, buzzer. Have a good day. We will catch you another time, another way. Motor Mouth Mall waving and stepping by. Bye bye bye. <laughs> Mall buzzer gone. Hey buzzer, I'm gonna steal that if you're not careful. I won't play it. Hey buzzer. <laughs> Motor mouth ball stepping. I see ya. And I think that might be it for Mother Nature. Oh, well, I had my fun. Forty-five kilo, you said, I'm still getting up there good around the northwest corner. Hey, forty-five kilo, you still, I'm still doing the job around the northwest corner. Motor mouth, mall urge, I did. Oh yeah, 
Hey, more now. You got that mall down? We've got that mall down in the northwest corner, Motor Mouth Sidekick, letting you know. Hey, Sidekick, while you're still out there mobile in the northwest corner, you got that mall down too. Yeah, Motor Mouth just slams my meter to the right and won't let it go. K40 Mobile, I'm letting you know. Did you say K40 Mobile? Now, wait a second here. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. K40 Mobile, I'm letting you know. That's it, huh? You let me know you got a K40 on a mobile. <laughs> okay. I know. Yeah, I got a, I got a Wilson, Wilson 1000, man. I got a Wilson 1000. In two plus, that's it. Nothing special. Well, you got Mother Nature on your side. You got a Wilson 1000 keying up in there, and then you come up in there, and wow. Let's see here. Where's the playback of that? I know. Yeah, I got a, I got a Wilson, Wilson 1000, man. I got a Wilson 1000. Man. In two plus, that's it. Nothing special. There you go, right there. That's working. Oh, thank you, Motor Mouth. Letting me know my little Wilson 1000 is working good. Up here in the northwest corner, still no doubt about it. 148 bone clock. Do, do appreciate that, Motor Mouth. Uh, you're the number one fan here in Salem, Oregon, trying to make it happen. Got you there. Salem, Oregon got you up in there again. Or the bone collector up in there. And I uh, heard uh, Sidekick up in there, and man, a bunch of big hammers up in your motor mouth ball right here, right now. I got down. We're right back there. Uh, I'm the top of the Bone Collector, Northwest Corner. We're waving. Hey, Bone Collector, tell Copper, uh, Copper Top I said hello there, big. Copper Top, Copper Top, Motor Mouth Mall's waving a big friendly hand at you. 148, the bone collector saying that break. Appreciate that there, bone collector. Cock collector. Two and two around Arizona, the back of this thing. I'm going to get out of here. Motor mouth ball, step on. I think Mother Nature's getting ready to do some shifting and dipping and dabbing. I got down. Hey, Motor Mouth, you have yourself a real good evening, Motor Mouth. Sidekick on the way. Bye-bye. Sure, for your sidekick, you take care. Have a great evening, and we'll catch you a little bit later on, as Mother Nature permits. Sidekick, Motor Mouth ball, step on. Right there. Right down. Hey, seven oh nine around Spokane, Washington. What's going on, Debrick? Hey, I'm just letting you listen to your cop show, man. You got it going on this afternoon, my brother. Always a pleasure to hear you, my friend, Motor Mouth seven oh nine. Fortender 709. Likewise, a pleasure with the double measure. By the way, check this out. Glad to be listening to your cop show, man. You got it going on this afternoon, my brother. Always a pleasure to hear you, my friend, Motor Mouth 709. I like that sound of that, like, uh, terrestrial radar, whatever that is, over the horizon radar, whatever. Check it out. Listen to this. Glad to be listening to your cop show, man. A little. Watch. Glad to be listening to your cop show, man. You got that is the coolest sound. I like that. Right. All right, there's 709. Take care of Santa Grant on the band out there. Oh, Motor Mouth Mall stepping. Hey, uh, Motor Mouth Mall, Mongoose, as you're smoking. You are, though. Hey, Mongoose. I ain't the only one smoking there. Hey, Mongoose, you got a hammer down to break. I think I got about an hour or something on the other gate. I got about 30, 25, 24 minutes on this one here already. 
So holy smokes, man, I guess it's time to get out of here. Uh, Motor Mouth Mall. Before you get on out of there, I was going to run in real quick and run right back out. Just wanted to bump it down this little station to see if I could say hello. Motor Mouth Mall. You're wrong, trucker. Northwest corner on the south side of the greens. Brega, brega. Log trucker, it does not get any stronger than that. I don't know what you did or how you did what you're doing. Uh, Motor Mouth Mall. Before you get on out of there, I was going to run in real quick and run right back out. Just wanted to bump it down this little station to see if I could say hello. Motor Mouth Mall. You're wrong, trucker. Northwest corner on the south side of the greens. Break a break out. Log, wow. Log trucker, that's a, a hammer and a half out here, man. Sounds good. <laughs> Hello, how you doing there, log trucker? Oh, my golly, doing pretty good. Just got back home there. Been kind of busy today. Got out there early this morning and greased the old Peter build up and Gave her a wash job, all shiny, and went and got me a load of logs for bright and early in the morning. I'll be rolling before daylight in the morning. I'll be the first one at the mill to get unloaded in the morning. So, yeah, been kind of a busy day. Just come in here, grab me a cold one, turned it on, and, boy, there my radio was, just jumping up and down all full of Motor Mouth Mall. You got the big hammer going down there on that beast. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of switched gears. I got my old uh, 2995 in line. I haven't run this radio for, I don't know, three months or longer there. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Just working the old 2995. A little bit of 1960 technologies. Uh, so, uh, 4K Henry. I haven't run it for, oh, God, I don't know how long. But the other day, I took the old dust covers off her and fired her up, and by golly, she still works. Well, sure, very cool. Yeah, I got to put mine together. I got I got one in pieces. You know, I got the power supply pulled out of the bottom of it and buy a supply pulled out separate, put, the, put, uh, put new caps in the power supply, and... Uh, Got an extra tube for it. I got an old, uh, new old stock, uh, you know, 5CX1500, whatever the hell it is. And I uh, got one in it already, so I don't know what the condition of it is. RF tech is all clean. Everything's real spotless. Everything looks real good, so I just got to put it back together again one of these days. But, uh, yeah, you know, that was built the year I was born, like 1965. Um, the 4Ks, you know, and they... It was a pretty cool looking box. And I got one of them. And I, I got an old Collins 30 Sugar 1, too. With the uh, you know, 4CX or 5CX 1500 in it. I forget what's in it. It's a 4CX 1500. And uh, yeah, a bunch of toys. Henry 3K and whatever else there is floating around here. <laughs> but yeah, that thing sounds choice, man. It's beautiful. Clean, clear, crisp. Bodacious of breaking. Yeah, I just got her ride along. I could key her up, talk on her all day. I'm always driving it with. Yeah, I got a couple of them. I got the 3KA that I got from old Doc Adams. In fact, this one here is going bye bye. That's why I fired it up. I wanted to make sure she was all clean, working good, ready to go for it goes bye bye. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I thought it had the 3CX1500 in it, but no, it's got that 5CX. Uh, oh, it, it still hammers. It still hammers. It's uh, two and a half bucks there right now, just 25 watts drive, just cruising. So I don't think it needs a new tube, but... I don't know my lawnmower's having out there, Rick. I'm going to make a trip down to California here in the next two or three weeks and pick up something else. 10-4. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't need anything new in it. It's doing just fine. It's uh, it's it's cruising nicely. I got oil in this chair. 
kind of noisy son of a gun. I got a replacement for it from a estate sale thing I went to, and uh, I, you know, while I was at that estate sale, I picked up a couple of the toys. I got a Johnson Navigator, a couple of Johnson Viking Twos, uh, a Gonset, 100 watt uh, Gonset transmitter, and uh, a whole bunch of old slew of other stuff, man. Gobs of stuff. But, um, and Father's Day swap meet, I went to pick up a, a few of them, uh, three CX 800s, got all of them for uh, 20 bucks. Yeah, new old stock. So I got those. I was a bit worried about what I was going to do for a driver, too, for this box, for the driver. And uh, not worried about that anymore, but uh, I still got to upgrade it. I don't have enough peak power to drive everything to full tilt. <laughs> anyway, yeah, very cool, man. Sounds like some good stuff there. And uh, what, what are you going to pick up? Or what are you going to get for that? Uh, what are you going to get for it? Just out of curiosity, what, what do they go for now for the 4K to bring? Yeah, right back, Coily Stephen. Uh, I let it go. The guy I bought it from. He wanted first dibs on it, so I, I sold it back to him for what I paid for it, 17. Roger, very good, good deal. Well, that's uh, mighty nice. And uh, so he said he'd get it back. Uh, he had it once before, he said he'd get it back again. So he'd be, uh, he'd be happier than a lark out there. That's for Doug Gone Shore, man. Very cool. Good deal. Yeah, they're a neat little amp like those things. And uh, like I said, I gotta put mine back together again. It's taking up too much uh, floor space with everything all torn apart there. I gotta put it all back in and make it more compact every. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it seems like never have enough room. That's uh, the uh, motor mouth's got a pretty big hammer out there right now, so it's rough for me to hear you, but uh, you know, it's sound good, man. Until next time around, we will be reading the mail in the corner. Flying the Hawk, the Hornet, the Raider, the Maverick, and the Phantom. And I could have had one of the Warriors, too. There were a couple of them pretty nice shape I looked at, but they didn't have any tubes in them. You know, 16 of them, 6LQ6s, that's, uh, that's pretty spendy. So I never got them. I got the Skipper 300, the 300 A, and the, oh, and I got the 200 there too, and the 300 A, the 350 Z. I don't keep my old Skipper 300 because it matches my uh, Chrome uh, Skipper 73 C uh, transmitter radio, so I'll keep my old Skipper 300. Right, you're on the old Skipper 300. That's cool. Yeah, man, you got a good collection over there. The one thing you need in your collection right now is one of these. Any one of these to dock on. <laughs> Man, that'd be fun to set you up with a uh, crazy wideband audio contraption. And, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. But, uh, yeah, I got a... I, my Johnson collection is getting pretty good. I still want to look for a couple other things. I got a Navigator, a Ranger, the two Viking 2s, two Viking Valiants, and a Viking 500. I had a second Viking 500, but I traded the RF deck. I had one power supply and two RF decks, and I traded the one RF deck for uh, to a friend of mine for some other stuff. And um, yeah, I'd still like to get a kilowatt desk and the Avenger and whatever else, a couple other little things, but uh, yeah. yeah. Eventually, you know, they'll come around, but uh, not in a real big hurry, you know. Chop, chop, coily stepping. Well, yes, uh, nice little Yeah, I had a line on, uh, the only other one I want is, uh, a couple of years ago, three years ago, up north there, a guy had one, he wasn't no big hurry to sell nothing, you know, I kind of talked to him a little bit about it, went out and looked at it, and and uh, I didn't look at it real close. I just looked at the front, you know, and it was kind of in a shelf, and it's kind of tight, so uh, I didn't really look at it that close. 
and then come to find out, he ended up selling the thing, and it was one of the cold ones. And they, uh, let's see, what they make? I think they made, uh, I think they made 63. I could be wrong, but I think they made 63 of the chrome-cased ones. The power supply in the RF deck was chrome, had chrome cases on them, and yeah, I missed out on a pretty good price, too, but I just got the old Ranger now. I used to have the Viking Valiant, too, got rid of, and my brother, he's got one of them that uh, Mike, our friend uh, Doc Adams, Tillamook, he went all through that thing, restored it, but my brother never uses it, so... I got a light on that one. If I really want one bad enough, I can probably swap or trade him or get get it off him some way or another. <laughs> good for him. That's very cool. Yeah, it's always good to know where they are. And, um, you know, it's, maybe just talk them out of it for long enough to fire it up and run it for a little while. Because Lord knows you don't want to let them sit too long. Don't want those modular uh, caps and all that to burn hard to uh, dry up on you and all that. Uh, so it's good to exercise it. You know, I should probably practice what I preach. Uh, I got a bunch of them over here I haven't fired up in a long time. You know, I was going to have this studio here be the solid state studio and then have the one across the way, which is now my electronics, I want to say clean room, but it's really more of an assembly room. It's not clean anymore. It's got stuff everywhere. But I was going to make that the, uh, <clears throat> the boat anchor room and then have you know, have it it's switchable between everything else, but uh, yeah, I never did that. So I gotta, I gotta do something so I can run all that stuff to break. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's what I do with mine. I rotate all my amps in and out. Like sometimes on a Saturday, I'll sit here and rotate three or four of them through on the bench here. What's going on there, Brady? Brady Coily, checking. Uh, Electrolytic, you know. Pretty doggone good buy you got on them 800s. Wow. I know where to go if I ever need one. I don't have anything that runs one now, but I did the same thing here a while back. I got a couple of, uh, oh, I got the Pride uh, 300, which takes a uh, 250B. What a deal. Yeah, I, I got these uh, for 20 for all of them. And then I got one of them is a, uh, a 3CX 800FJ or JF. It's, I guess it's not as good as the A7s. Anyway, it's going to go one of them in there. And then I got a box of, uh, for, for nothing, for free, I got a box of uh, uh, three, uh, 4CX, 4CX 350s. Um, I got a whole slew. I got 14 of those to break. It's all fine. It's Sometimes, uh, if you get the right ones, some of those uh, 350s, they have the Raker pin. Yeah, keeps the airways clear. And some of them have the ceramic bottom with the metal, uh, three metal rings on them to kind of screw in. But... The uh, the ones with the pins, they will plug right into a uh, 250B socket. But I don't. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, you know, Interesting. Yeah, that's what, that's what they are. They're the pins, <clears throat> so they they'd be the same socket as a 250B. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't have any 250B amplifiers around here. I used to have a Pride DX300 a long time ago. And I let it go. Should have kept it, but I let it go. And um, I wouldn't mind another one just for fun, but they're way too pricey. People like them too much, I guess. I don't know. They think they're worth 700 bucks for a, <laughs> a 4CX250B box. A single 4CX250B, they get 700 bucks for them. They ain't worth that. But uh, they are cool. Anyway, 
Yeah, I, I, I got uh, a whole bunch of cool, fun stuff over here. That uh, yeah, the, the 300s, the the, uh, the 3 CX 800 A7s, those I got because I have the, uh, the little driver I'm talking about now is the uh, prototype for Henry Radio when they were selling their 3 CX 800 single. And uh, it was, I, I got it from a guy who did the actual guy, Norwood Patterson, who did the Type FC, Type FCC acceptance work for it. And I got it as the prototype, the one and only first, you know, one, only one that was done, you know, as a prototype. And then uh, uh, got all the book full of all of the, uh, uh, what, what you call the uh, spectrum analyzer shots and all that stuff and all the write-up and the measurements and the description and all that that was being submitted to the FCC for type FCC acceptance and all that stuff. So I got that particular one. That's the one I'm talking on now. That's the one I got, and and um, I didn't have any 800s, to, you know, as backups for it. So now I got a couple of those there for it. And then the A, the, the, those are A7s. And then the UJ or the JU, whatever the heck that is. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. It, it's not a good backup for this. It's just uh, it may go up on a chopping block, or I just may just keep it for a while. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, those three uh, hundreds. They were, you know, they were uh, not a not a big amp, but they were uh, way before their time. You know, they came out with them when uh, oh, uh, the. I think they were just maybe a little bit ahead of the 300A, but they were uh, a, clean, a clean, quiet little amplifier, and uh, I had one years ago, and I let it go, and I wanted to know. Oh, I talked to another guy out there out in Southern Cal. And, uh, yeah, that, that price you mentioned there, that's about what they're going for, but... I got this one for uh, $250, mentioned, and that was to pay shipping from New Zealand. That was a hundred and a quarter. But John, I'll tell you, when I got the mail, oh man, I was happy. Oh, Channel Cat, he's seen it and a few others. Man, that thing looks brand new, brand new. And it does. It was, uh, it was a 10 out of a 10. It was a beauty. Wow, yeah, you just don't run across deals like that very often. Very good deal. Well, awesome. Hey, you know what? I know we could probably tie this thing up for a long time, and I don't want to because I think I heard Mr. Coily up in there talking to somebody, although I would imagine since he's talking to him, we're not probably getting in the way too much, but I know there's a lot of traffic out there, and it's already 4 o'clock, 4.08, and I got to get out of here and head home, and, uh, Go spend some time with the sweet thing and uh, have a nice evening down there at the house. So, and I don't live up here yet, you know. Where tomorrow, by the way, I'm having a, the mover guy. The, the truck is going to come over here and actually pull the motor, the motor home, the modular home, the, the prefab from where it is up to the actual pad and put it in place. And then the next week or so, uh, the crew is going to come up and level it and put the piers and get the marry it together and get all the stuff fixed on the inside and get it all ready and done and uh, so yeah big big steps are happening but I gotta go drive to the house in town it's about 10 minutes away so I gotta get out of here and uh, go do that but it's been a whole lot of fun man and I enjoyed the QSO as always and uh, yeah good to hear you've been there Log Trucker Motor Mouth Mall your west coast under modulated beast right here right now Motor Mouth Mall all right, real fine. Yeah, I gotta gotta make sure the the sweet thing gets plenty of time there. You know, happy wife is a good wife. <laughs> you gotta keep them happy. All right, yeah, I I kind of forgot about that. I'm sitting here flapping my gums and not thinking that other people want to use the channel too. <laughs> Doggone it anyway. Well, there goes my good CB equipment. I got a a bad boy marked now. All right, motor mouth ball, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to get on out here and jump on the old lawnmower there and cruise around the yard. But well, I got a drink holder in that, so I'm all good. I'll have a cold beer while I'm doing that. Motor mouth ball, a pleasure with a measure. 
Your log trucker in the northwest corner right there just got down. Ten for it. All right, sounds good. Well, enjoy that uh, bowl safely. And uh, uh, remember not to stick the fingers underneath the mowing deck. That's not a good thing to do. And uh, by the way, one, one playback just so you can hear the final uh, what you got going on over here. Gums and not thinking that other people want to use the channel too, doggone it anyway. Well, there goes my good CB adequate. I got a, a bad boy marked now. All right, motor mouth ball, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to get on out here and jump on the old lawnmower there and cruise around the yard. Well, I got a drink holder in that, so I'm all good. I'll have a cold beer while I'm doing that. Motor mouth ball, a pleasure with a measure. Your log trucker in the northwest corner right there just got down. There you go, log trucker. There it is. Wall to wall, treetop tall. All right, be careful. Have a great time, and we'll catch you later on. I'm going to jump out of here. I did hear Baker Man, I believe, at the beginning of that last key. Let me just double check and make sure. Right now. Motor mouth motor. Yeah, there, Baker Man right there. Hello, Baker Man, Motor Mouth Mall waving, and uh, I'm going to get on out of here. Motor Mouth Mall stepping right there right now. Bring this radio had the. Uh... Uh, audio quality to mobiles. I mean, this, this thing is bone stock. This radio's never had anything done to it, so I didn't really think it had uh, audio quality that the, some of the mobiles I've been running. I'm just running the stock uh, 636L mic on it, but doggone, uh, audio, uh, it's I have to admit, it does sound pretty good, no doubt about it. All right, hey, tell that baker, man, I waved hello up that way. Motor Mouth Mall, you know, I'm gone right there. I'll see ya. Ten foot of log trucker sounds good. All right, catch you later on. And yeah, it definitely sounds 10 8 and straight. And uh, baker, man, hello to you. Log trucker's waving, and so am I, Debris. Waving right back, John. I'm barefoot. Oh, you sound good for barefoot. Hey, uh, um, baker, man. While you're barefoot, let me just play that back real fast here. Wave it right back, John. I'm barefoot. There you go. While you're barefoot and sounding good, Baker Man, Motor Mouth Mall, stepping. John, the reason it sounds good is because... No, get back to Motor Mouth Mall, too, so we go. It's three months, four months ago. I left it right there. Uh-huh. When it's amplified, it's amplified. Uh -huh. I remember that, Baker Man. I remember that. You left it set right where it was, and it sounds 10, 8, and straight, that's for sure. All right, I got to get out of here. It's already 4.15, and uh, uh, I got to cool some stuff down and uh, uh, go run the water through the antenna up there and get the elements cooled down and uh, all that stuff. So we'll catch you a little bit later on at 7.3s. And through 7 Grizzly Bear around New Mexico, I could hear you on the back of the beam, too. Motor mouth mall stepping right there right now. I got down. Breaker, breaker. Hey, Motor Mall Mall, before you go, Motor Mall Mall, hello, Motor Mall Mall, Motor Mall Mall, 522, say hello, and you have a good morning, Hello, there, 522, I heard you're on the grass shack, I heard 27 Grizzly Bear key up in there, and 5 Double Deuce, heard you roll up in there, too, I know doubt about that, Motor Mouth Mall, step in right here, right now, I'll get in the mobile, I'll give you a shot when I get in the mobile. Nice years. Put it on you later, my brother. Your log truck in the northwest corner, right there, right now. Just got down.